What's going on everyone? Peter back again for another daily video. In this one, it's a blockbuster. We're talking about the seesaw, the um, old old fashioned weighing scales, the ones with the two balancing measurements on them. We're talking about that. Not really, but we're using it as a um, imagery to um, state an example, which is that when you're trying to lose fat, as I've said before, you need to be in a calorie deficit, okay? It doesn't matter how you get there. Obviously, there's better and worse ways to do it. There, um, um, there are different avenues to go down, but whatever one you go down, if you want to lose fat, you still need to be in a calorie deficit. So, it doesn't matter if you think you're losing fat by you know, um, ketones or ma manipulating insulin or, um, you know, not eating for 20 hours of the day. It doesn't matter what you think. The fact of the matter is those are just avenues to, um, to the goal of a calorie deficit, okay? So you can do that by increasing your activity, which probably isn't advised unless your diet is really dialed in, or you can, you know, um, fix up your diet and not necessarily eat less as in restricting the quantity of food but first thing is quality so improve the quality of your, the food you're eating and you know if you're eating um less calorie dense foods more nutritionally um, dense more voluminous tend, tend to be you'll find that you're consuming less calories um as a result but you're not you know um, constantly trying to eat less it's just um a byproduct of this so imagine it as one of those old-time weighing skills you know with the um, two different sides <clears throat> the consumption part so the um the food intake part okay it needs to be higher okay than the expenditure part okay so the food that you eat, take in your body or drink, it needs to make up less than the energy you burn throughout the day. Okay, so unless that weight, unless that's less, okay, unless you know that seesaw, if that seesaw isn't further up in the air than the other side, if if it's the opposite, you're not you're going to put on weight, and if it's the same, you're not going to lose any weight. Um, it has to be less, okay, and when it is less consistently over time you're going to put you're going to lose fat okay and that's when the magic happens and that's when you actually see the results and you can think you know the diet works but to get there you have to be consuming less calories you have to be in a calorie deficit okay so once you to imagine that a seesaw and the balance needs to be shifted to the cut um to be consuming or burning more calories than you take in okay so I'm going to get a diagram or something because it's hard to explain it. But I hope you guys understand. So um, calorie intake on this side and um, expenditure on this side. So you want it to be like that. If it's like this, and you're going to gain weight. If it's like that, it's flat, horizontal. You're going to, you're not going to change. You're going to maintain your weight. And if it's like this, we're you are burning more calories than you consume or you're you know consuming less calories than you burn whatever way you want to look at it if the balance is shifted in the degree of the expenditure you're going to lose fat okay so that's something to think about guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share comment subscribe peace